Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Pat Rail. Today, episode of Rail, I'm going to continue with one of my LMS locomotives in my collection. And recently, there was the coronation event in the UK, so I picked the most famous princess coronation class locomotive, Duchess of Hamilton. The model is produced by Hornby with the latest tooling in 2018 and I got this one in 2019. The product number is R3677. I decided to get this one because the real locomotive in the National Railway Museum in York was very enchanted when I visited there a couple years ago. Here is the box. Let's see what we get inside. The box is a standard horn B locomotive box. We got the instructions. Inside the additional details back, there are a phone coupler, a replaceable phone bulky. These ones are slightly bigger than those fitted on the locomotive. I believe that the spare ones are more prototypically correct. While the small ones fitted is for the curved clearance purpose. So, if you have a large ladies curve, you can change to the spare ones. And the rear flange wheels. Now let's take a look on the model details. This Princess Colonization class locomotive, Duchess of Hamilton, comes in LMS Clemson Lake Rivery. The first five locomotives in this class finish in Caledonian Blue. The first of this class, 6220, Coronation, enter service in June 1937, the year of King George VI Coronation. The locomotive comes in steam light shape. At the front of the locomotive, Special lamps are fitted. There is a front ladder to climb up the steam light case. At the side of the locomotive, the nameplate is fitted beautifully. The wheels are painted in white. Um, it looks fantastic. The handrails are fitted beautifully. Look at that, rivets and details on the steam light cast. As usual, there are sliding cap ropes. The details at the rear of the tender. It's interesting on this locomotive that on the tender, they use round buffers. While in the front, they use oval shape buffers. The cap details are pretty nice. I like the door here, how the locomotive comes with these doors, which is prototypically correct. Nice detail behind the cap on the tender as well. The underframe and wheels details.
Now let's have a running taste, starting from the slowest speed. The wheel rotation looks nice. Not bad. Well, unfortunately, I have no time to complete my first loop. On my layout. So in this episode, we still need to run the locomotive on the rolling road. Let's start from slow speed forward. Here she goes. Very very smooth. Now if I increase her speed a little bit, Oh, she starts to scream a little bit. I'm not sure it's from the wheel mechanism or from the rolling road. Wow, perfect. Now let's tie the backward direction.
Isn't it great that a big steam model can run very smoothly? She is designed to haul express trains other than the blue coronation scot, but who knows, she might That's all for today. I hope you enjoy my video. Please like, share, and subscribe so you will not miss my new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.